Hello and welcome to this edition of Trojan Talk. I'm Paige Ray. Joining us today is Dr. Kelly Burwagger with Troy's Art and Design Department and also Dr. Wade Forehand with Troy's School of Nursing. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks sure. So we are talking about a very important celebration that happens this month, which is National Donate Life Month. It happens all through April. And I hear that Troy is going to have a connection to this. So first of all, can you tell me what National Donate Life Month is about? Yeah, most definitely. So April is um, the recognition month for this um, important activity. And so activities are spread throughout the entire month of April. And uh, we've chosen to celebrate our activity on the 19th, which will be next Wednesday. And uh, it is just focusing on awareness, education about the importance of organ donation. Okay. Now, Dr. Burwagger, you have your own personal story with this. I know it's going to be very hard to condense it, but can you tell me your connection to it? I was actually, I'm actually a living organ donor. I donated a kidney back in 2014 to a total stranger. What led you to do that? <laughs> the Lord, the Lord told me that I need to go give a kidney to somebody. It was, it is a long story. It took all year, but uh, I just felt led to step up and help somebody out. So, what was that process like? Uh, the pro the the inner process was one thing, but then going through all the steps and the testing at UAB uh, was a little long and arduous. It took you know it's not just a one stop and you're you're approved or you're not approved. I was actually not approved the first time around and had to go back for additional testing to finally get approved, but. And so here we are today. You mentioned that was 2014, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And you're still advocating and talking oh, yeah. about this. Tell me why. It's been a huge connection for me all over the state of Alabama. And I've made transplant friends, either donors or recipients from all over the country. Um, so I just, I feel like it's something that I, evidently I was chosen to do for a reason. And why not keep talking about it and helping get people who will d d maybe donate uh, maybe feel the calling like I did and want to help somebody out. Perfect. Now, Dr. Forehand, tell me what your connection to this is. Why are you choosing to get involved in advocating about this? So certainly, um, being a nurse um, by trade and then also being a representative of the School of Nursing and really just the health professions, um, we wanted to reach out and kind of answer that call. And it just kind of fits with what we do. Um, nurses often uh, work with patients, um, particularly those that are, they're maybe passing, um, that want to be organ donors. And so we interact with that experience quite a bit. And so it's important for healthcare providers to be knowledgeable about it, um, not only just the gener general community. Now, Troy, as we mentioned, has an event coming up where we're going to, to recognize this, and I know there are several other people who are going to be involved in this. So can you tell me more about the day, that event? Yeah, most definitely. So um, it will be on April the 19th. That's a Wednesday, actually a week from today. Um, we're going to have a tent on the quad from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Um, we're going to have student participation. We're inviting all members of the College of Health and Human Services, so our social work counterparts, our um, colleagues that are in kinesiology and health promotion are going to be there. Um, we're going to include students. It will be faculty. We're going to have a lot of information, um, educational awareness. Um, we're going to be out visiting with anybody that's on the quad that day. We're also going to bring some electronic devices. That way if somebody is led and wants to register on the spot, they can do that. It's a very easy process to do. And um, just try to promote um, information about it. Um, following that, uh, around 1.30, we're going to move to right in front of uh, John Lewis Hall, and we're going to have a, a ceremony. Um, part of the events of recognizing this important activity is a raising of the flag. And so we have a flag that we're going to raise. We're going to have some comments. Um, Dr. Burragger is going to be there joining us. Um, I believe we're going to have a representative of Legacy of Hope. Um, which deals with the transplantation and organ donation for the state of Alabama. Um, our dean will be there, Dr. Jay Gardner, and Dr. Hawkins will also be joining us. So we're going to do a, a very brief um, ceremony just to kind of uh, highlight and recognize the importance of April and, and all the activities. And we're almost out of time, but I want to make sure I hit this. For people who see this interview and then plan to go, you know, what are some questions that they might could ask you guys? What's the information that you guys can provide to them? Yeah, so there, there are a lot of startling stats that are out there. In fact, um, it's estimated that about 100,000 people are on the waiting list right now um, that need a transplant. It's not Alabama alone, but really across the country. And so just recognizing that it's something that, that someone can make a large impact 
and um, you know there are multiple types of donors. You know, example of, of Dr. Burwagger being a living donor, um, and also considering donation um, if a circumstance were, were to happen that an individual passes. What kind of impact you can have on many individuals? So just getting aware how to how to get engaged in that process. We can definitely let them know the sources. Um, and the areas that they can go to get that information to, to be knowledgeable on it. Perfect. Well, you guys, I know this is, is something that is very near and dear to your hearts. I wish you all the luck, and I'm sure we'll be meeting again in a week. <laughs> Thank, thank you so you. much for being here. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Of course, and thank you for joining us on this edition of Trojan Talk.